Welcome back to Metro Exodus. Before I press continue, I just wanted to show you how the menus changed. I think this is different from the last time I showed it. In the last episode, we're exploring some of the question marks on this road leading to the lighthouse. Where we need to go to... Actually, what exactly are we doing there? I forget. Uh, I need to find the entrance to the complex. Oh, the communication bunker is somewhere on the islet next to the lighthouse. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Caspian One Communication Center is the lighthouse area over there. So, on the road to that, but just check in all the question marks along the way. Next one I want to check out is this boat turned into a fortification at the bottom of this... at the bottom of this valley here. Are they digging a grave? Oh, hi. <laughs> Sometimes heavy footsteps are bunnies, other times they're those things. Those down there look like they might be slaves. We know they have slaves, they mentioned it in one of the radio broadcasts. I think they saw me. Damn, pretty good aim if I do say so myself. there could be something the other way. Nope. <laughs> Seems to be real hit or miss on whether you find any loot in these old rusted boats. Into these boats. I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure. I might have. I, I definitely didn't check out that. Uh, yes, I, I do remember going to this one. Tumbleweeds seem to like to hang out here. <laughs> they burn too. That's cool. Yeah, this is the place that has that little binocular watching post thing. So I definitely went there, but I didn't go here. There's no way up there. Probably should have come down here at night, actually, so I could be stealthy. Do I have any shotgun ammo? A little bit, yeah. I'll definitely take that over that freaking minigun. God, 
Oh, that scared me. Oh, you get sticks on your face. Look at that. Got one stuck. That's cool. Uh, let's customize the shotgun. Oh, I got sticks on my hand, too. I saw them there for a second, and then they disappeared. Okay. Got the good stock on. Already got that. Uh, wow, I guess I actually don't have much to customize this with. <laughs> Put a night vision scope on a shotgun. Closed reflex sight. Closed kilometer sight provides a clear view of the target. I don't think I've used that yet. Okay, what does that look like? I guess that's fine. Is that really an improvement over the open one, though? Seems like it just blocks out more of your view, which doesn't necessarily seem like a good thing. Look at that. Versus this. I kind of like how open this is. I don't know. I'll, I'll try the other one. This gun looks so cool now that it's been kitted out. Oh, right, it doesn't have a scope. Damn it. Like, I think they're slaves. I don't think they would attack me. I just want to see how they react. Well, they don't show up as red in my crosshairs. Yeah. Yeah, they don't care about me. They got work to do. Yeah, they are slaves. I'm sorry, buddy. Can I help? Can I shoot it? Maybe that would hack it open. Trying to see if there's a good, stealthy way in here. Where are the guards? I would expect to see them out here, watching over the slaves. Maybe there are no actual guards here. It's possible. Baron grants us the power of the Holy Flame. Yeah, are you digging your own grave, by the way? I hope not. I need to free these people. Yeah, I don't see any guards at all. Must be the slave truck that they used to haul all these people in. I guess this is just like a forward position that they haven't actually occupied yet. They're just trying to fix it up to be occupied, probably. I wonder if I can like get on the boat, up the boat. Is there anything up there?
Oh, oh, there's a guard. How do they not see me? It's daylight and they're not sleeping. seem like my crosshairs are red, though. Okay, I just did a quick save. Are you actually an enemy? Wait, you're a slave, too? Master's up above. Okay. Yeah, the way they were kitted out, I didn't think they would give those sorts of things to a slave. They have a knife. I guess they don't actually have a gun, though. These are homes for the slaves. Just shipping containers cut open. First mate's diary. So right before we sail away, he tells me, Watch container number 406. It's a special shipment for you-know-who. You answer with your head for it. With my head? What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Lost all comms at night. The weather went to shit, too. North wind was so strong I was ready to shit my pants. Never saw waves of that size in this puddle in my life. The roll was so bad, some of the containers, including number 406, broke off and fell overboard, taking two of the crew with them. And how is this my fault? Was I supposed to just stop it with my bare hands? I wrote down the coordinates, did all I could. If they value the shipment so much, let them fish it out from the bottom. Ooh, what if this is a hint? That out there in the water, I can actually... I can actually find this shipping container and maybe there's something good in it. Don't worry about it. Oh, they got some spider webs here. Let me take care of that. Oh, I can't burn these. They have a lot of good stuff here. Oh, this place is disgusting. Okay, now there's a thug up here. Stop that right now. Ooh. Assault rifle. Yes, dear God, please. Do I really want to keep the sniper rifle? No, I, I really don't. Not without a scope. It's not worth it. So let's switch to an assault rifle and shotgun. That's a good combo. Oh, 
don't know which one is better. I don't think it matters because I'm going to put my own stuff on him. They just gave me a couple new attachments. I think they're talking about that slave that looked like a guard downstairs. Oh, can't see the subtitles when I do that. Okay. You're not coming this way, are you? Okay, we're good. Oh, you're literally under the person who was beating you. I'm sorry, I can't move him. Okay, assault rifle, um, semi grip stock, standard barrel? Do I want a suppressor? No, if I want to be stealthy, I can throw knives. Standard barrel. Reflex sight. Normal magazine. And red laser. I have tons of ammunition for this. I know I could probably just go up and just avoid them, but man, do I want to just take out these people. I should probably kill them, but I guess I'll take them out peacefully. It's probably what the game thinks is the good option, as far as being a good person. Now, what do I do about them? They're talking. One would notice if the other one got taken away. Please don't hear this. Yes! Yep. I just got a good karma thing. These people particularly annoy me, because they have slaves, and I wouldn't mind killing them, but... Uh, I won't. Another one of those mini guns. No, I refuse. What type of gun is that? Oh, I think it's the it's the bastard. Leader's letter. With this letter, I, Arsen Mustafin, Mustafin, declare to you a lowlife calling himself the Baron that I am the leader of my people, not a lousy traitor appointed by you. On behalf of all the people of the Free Canyon, I tell you now that we will no longer be afraid of you, and we will not submit to your thugs either. We had enough. We won't tolerate being corralled like cattle, having our young men and women enslaved. We will not have any of it anymore. 
We will take up weapons and chase your dogs away and kill you all. Now you will be afraid of us, because we stand for freedom. We will all die for freedom if need be. And we don't need your holy flame either at all. Get out of our home, for we never invaded yours. The free people of the Free Canyon. I would like to meet this person. I would like to help them. What did I just get? I think that might have been another closed site. Maybe one that I can put on my assault rifle? No? Hmm. Don't see any new things popping up anywhere. Wait, why don't I have the heavy stock on this thing? Get on there. Is that looks like a sort of compass thing? I saw a ladder that goes up more, so let's check out this level and then go up. Pretty deserted. I guess the thugs mostly just want to be lazy and stay inside in the shade, given how hot it is, which makes sense. place first though. Is there anybody else here or was that it? Go even further up. I don't think there's anybody up there though. I think I would have seen or heard them. Let's use the workbench. I want to see what that new compass thingy I got was. Right, so default bracer, and then at some point I got the compass. Motion scanner. This sophisticated device uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer algorithms to identify moving enemy units. However, it requires some practice to use effectively. Intriguing. Well, to be honest, the whole, like, pointing to your ne next quest thing that you need to do thing is something I very rarely use, so I have no problem using something else. Let's see how that works. Don't want to clean these things at all. Well, actually, that one's 100% fine. Actually, they're both fine. Oh, this thing's garbage. Um, is it worth it, though? No, I got plenty of ammunition for the assault rifle. I don't need to waste cleaning chemicals on a shotgun that I might not even use. Yeah, so this motion scanner thing. How's it gonna work? I guess a blip will pop up when we're near an enemy. Wonder what the range is. Wonder if it makes a noise. It probably doesn't differentiate between uh, friendly or non-friendly targets. It just it's a motion detector. It couldn't. Oh, we can zip line down. Sweet. I would like to go to the crow's nest over there. Because it'd be pretty cool. 
But I don't think there's any way up there, even if I wanted to. I want to try something. So it does make a noise, and it pings pretty infrequently, every couple seconds. I think I'll leave it on, then. It'd be good to know if something's moving around me. I wonder how small... like, how small can it detect motion? Like, will it detect a rabbit? Will it detect a snake? Anyway, I want to check out this area over here. Like, why don't I just... jump down? I mean, hmm. I didn't really think this through. If I jump down, I'm gonna break my legs and die. I could try to jump over to what? No, that's not gonna work. Who am I kidding? If I want to get down safely, I have to just hope to God that I slide down this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wait, I'm just back over here? Oh, that's already where I came from. Well, still, there might be some other stuff. Like, who are all those people down there? I've already been down there, and I took out everybody. Hm. Let's see if we can climb up here. I guess most of them are just the slaves outside? Climb this ladder to the crow's nest. <gasps> okay, so... Um, has this changed anything with the slaves? I can't imagine they're just gonna go, Oh, you saved us! Great! And run away and be happy. Uh, probably not that simple. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen in the immediate future. Okay. Let's move further down the road, then. One's different from the rest. It's pretty and fierce and wants to protect its loot. I have an idea. I'll distract it. Yeah. Hmm. I have to kill it, don't I? Unless... Can I just, like, stick my arms through here? Yeah! Alright, bye, buddy. Hey, its mouth literally glows. It's letting off a light on things around it. Oh my god, that snake also ha That is so cool. That snake also has... Arms? Legs? That is so cool. Mm-hmm. 
находится на маяке, отбивает атаку бандитов. I can help with that. Если поможем, готова провести нас в центр связи. Такую возможность упускать нельзя, поэтому поможем. Но аккуратно. Выполняйте. Конец связи. Okay, well, heading over there anyway. So, perfect. Alright, there's a trap here. Maybe something on the other side? You never know. I don't think there is, though. No. Could be something behind here. Bunny, watch out, there's a snake there. Maybe some new stuff I can sight, actually. Uh, yeah, I heard at least one. I want to get to a little place, a place a little bit higher. Let's do this rock over here. Place of that weird, nasty oil stuff. Looks like it's filled with radioactive barrels or something, and also those zombie things. It just went to sleep. Little creeper. Oh, hi. The area where I came from looks so small from here. I think that's it. Oh god, no. <laughs> I can't imagine how, much, how painful that must be. Have all that light amplified. I'm really curious what's in that toxic, swampy place. Let's go there.
I'm assuming I need a gas mask, right? And listen to those rumbly noises. Oh, that's the motion detector, isn't it? Something this way. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Well. I guess that wasn't even what the motion detector detected. Because <laughs> it wasn't moving. Fuck me. <laughs> Oh, not, not that. Whew. Wow. That was exciting. symbols of the Baron over there, but I don't see any people. Looks like there's a pathway that leads to something back there. A little hidden away thing. Oh, hey! There's like holes carved out of that cliff face. Oh, I really want to go check that out. Let's, hmm, let's save that for the next episode, though. Yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go see what's going on back there. <laughs>